Hey everyone, Kyle here. In today's video, I'll show you how to boost sales on your TikTok shop. So let's get started. So now here we are on TikTok ads and we will be using this platform to boost our sales on TikTok shop. And I'll tell you why. TikTok ads is a powerful way to drive sales into your TikTok shop by leveraging the platform's massive, highly engaged user base. They allow you to target specific audiences using advanced algorithms, ensuring your products reach potential buyers who are most likely to convert. TikTok's ad formats like in-feed videos and Spark ads blend seamlessly into the platform, making them more appealing and less intrusive to users. With TikTok prioritizing content with TikTok shop links, your ads are more likely to get boosted visibly. This combination of organic style promotion and precise targeting makes TikTok ads an unmatched tool for maximizing your TikTok shop sales. And another great reason is that you would be assured for great compatibility because obviously TikTok shop and TikTok ads both come from TikTok. Plus, you would get a lot of promotions in your ad spend. Like for this one, for example, you would spend $100 on your first campaign, as you can see right here, and then you would receive another $100 for ad credits from TikTok for free. So basically, you will be doubling your money's worth. And this is not the only promo that you will be receiving. There is a lot right here, so which is really great, especially if you're tight on budget. Now let's start in our first step. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we are going to create our account here for TikTok for Business for our Ads Manager account. So click here on Get Started. And from here, you simply need to provide your email and then your password and then confirm your password. And then after that, get the verification code that was sent to your email. And then next is that you would need to click here so that you are confirming that you agree to the TikTok commercial terms of service and so on. And then uh, just uh, check that box. And then next is the subscribe to email. So if you don't want to, then you can just uncheck this. It's just an optional one right here. And then once you're all done, click on sign up. All right, so now once you have successfully registered your account, you can now log in into your TikTok Ads Manager and then you will be prompted here as soon as you get logged in for your first sign. So from here, you can now create your campaign and we will be doing the product sales because we would want to boost our sales in our TikTok shop. But before we do that, there is a very important step that we must do first, which is to connect our TikTok ads to our TikTok shop because we would want to boost our sales in our TikTok shop and we cannot do that if it's not connected. So to connect it, it's very simple. All you have to do is go into your seller center here for your TikTok shop and just log in. And then from here, click on a shop ads right here, navigate on the left side, and then you can find a shop ad somewhere right here. And then from here, you would now be able to see that I have already connected my business center account and my ad account right here. So it's already associated with my business user ID right here. I do not need to click on connect right here. So if you didn't do this yet, if you haven't connected that, then all you have to do is click here on connect account. You do not need to go for the create account because we have already created our account for the TikTok for business. So just click on uh, connect account and all you need to do is just paste your ad account ID. So what we need to do is go back into our TikTok ads manager and let's get our ID. So from here, all you have to do is click on your profile here on the top right. And here you can find your ID, just right click, copy. And then after that, go back into the seller center and just paste it right here. In my case, it will be saying that it is already connected right here. So I wouldn't be able to proceed anymore. But in your case, this is how you can connect your TikTok ads to your TikTok shop seller center. Go back right here since we have already connected this. Now we are all good to go in creating our campaign. So from here, we'll be going with product sales to boost our sales. So now here in the product source, this is very important that you go for TikTok shop because this is the purpose that we have connected our TikTok ads and TikTok shop. So we'll be uh, going for the products here from our TikTok shops. And then from here in the campaign name under settings is that simply provide the name for the campaign. In my case, I'll just go for a sample right here. And then you can also set for the budget, but uh, I recommend you do not set this. We can just set it later on and click on continue once you're done. And now we will now be proceeding here into this tab. So we would need to provide the ad group name. So from here, let's just provide it. And I'm just gonna go for ad group 
sample right here. Just name it whatever you'd want. And then once you're done with that, you can go for the shop ads type. So you can go for video shopping ads. So you can use a video or image to, pro to promote your product, or you could go live. Or you could go for product shopping ads so you can use images to promote your products right here it's basically the same as this one right here exact i think this one would be better because you could use your videos or images right here but if you're just gonna go for images then you just go for product shopping ads so i'm just gonna go for video shopping ads for this example and from here you can see here in the product source details that our TikTok shop will not be detected because we have already connected that and then I'm just going to select that. And then you can also go for showcase. So the list of products that are currently displayed in the TikTok account taken from one or more TikTok shops. So yeah, you can also do this, but I recommend it just doing for the TikTok shop right here because we have connected our TikTok shop. And now the next one is the placement. And from here, you would be able to see that there is only TikTok available right here, which means all the ads will be placed here on TikTok. And then next is you can go into the advanced settings. So this is the setting that I recommend right here. You disable the allow video download right here. It's very important for me because I don't want other people to download my video and post it on their own account without crediting to my account. So I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to disable the allow video download. And then here for the user comment is that it's typically up to you if you think that you would get a lot of positive comments then i suggest that you turn this on because it could really help with your uh, legitimacy on how people would be seeing your ads because they would look at the comment to verify if what you are advertising is true so yeah this is also very important next is the products expansion so you can go promoting all products in your tiktok shop it is recommended to improve your ads performance so you can go promote all of your products so you can enable ads for all available tiktok shop products using images in shopping center and search results right here so i suggest that you just keep that on and then next is that you can go for audience targeting right here so this is where you would be specifically choosing your audience right here on who would you like to see your ads and in here we have this audience tab you can include and exclude audience i don't personally want to mess with this one right here because you can just create new data or groups from people right here on the audience which i think is not really needed it's only optional right here and then we'll just be going here for the demographics so we can just uh, specify on what kind of audience we would like to show our ads to right here we don't need this option right here so now here in the location so you can add more location if you'd want in my case it's only in philippines because my tiktok shop is currently based in the philippines but we can go over here with a drop down menu and then we can be more specific on which part of that certain country right here that we would be showing our ads so in my case i'll just go for broad targeting right here so basically i'm selecting all of the location available next is the age right here so since i am broad targeting I think it is also essential for me to eliminate the ages that I think won't be fit for my product. So that would be this uh, 55 plus only right here. Let's just say that one. And then next is for the gender. So if you think that your product is a male only product, then you can just go for male or female only product, then go for female. In my case, since I'm broad targeting, I'm just gonna go for all. And then next is the languages. So you can select specific languages if you would like that. This is where you can set it. And then next is the interest and behaviors. So a lot of sellers here doesn't really set their interest and behaviors. They want it to keep it broad because TikTok would show it to a lot of people anyways. It would be very broad. But if you would want to be more specific on your ads, if you're really sure that you should be targeting this uh, specific people, then you should go and choose the niches right here so if you'd like to target a uh, food and beverage people that are interested in this niche you can go for the drop down menu and you can be more specific and so on again and yeah basically just choose the niche right here that you think is appropriate in my case i'll just go for food and beverage right here and then and next is the devices so this is great if you are selling digital products or maybe advertising an app, then this could really help you, especially if your digital product is specific on iOS or Android. So you can just choose it right here and you can choose your OS versions and so on right here. 
So in my case, I think this is not necessary. So I'm just going to go for all and just give it generic. And then next is a budget and schedule. So this is where you can set your budget. You have your daily budget or lifetime budget, depending on what you want to set. In my case, I just go for daily budget. This is what I recommend so that you can control your daily spending. So from here, I can just go for uh, at least 500, as you can see right here. In my case, I'll just go for 750. So this is based on your own uh, currency. In my case, it's in Philippine peso because my TikTok shop is based on uh, Philippines. So this is how much you will be spending and so on. You should be seeing it right here. And now next is the schedule. So you can set start time and run ad group continuously. This would mean that it would start running at that time or date that you have selected it right here. And then it won't turn off itself unless you manually turn it off because it would run continuously. And for the next one would be the set start and end time so you can set the start time right here and when it will end right here so you can choose the date and then the time next is a day parting so from here you can select all day if you want to run your ads all day long or you can select specific time so if you think you are sure that your customers will be uh, going for TikTok around this time right here let's say at lunch you want to go and select those times right here maybe 11 to 1 p.m. So it would be like this one and then you can select the days of the week right here. In my case, I just want to go for maybe the work day. So until the weekdays right here, all of the weekdays, I'm going to be selecting all of this right there. So now it is now all selected and then you can see it here under selected time period on when your ad will be running. And of course, you can go for more time slots right here if you'd want to. And then next is a bidding and optimization. So from here, you have your optimization goal. So we have a gross revenue. So you can maximize your gross revenue to achieve the highest possible return on ad spend. Or you could go for purchases to maximize the number of submitted orders to achieve the lowest cost per order. And now on the initiate checkouts, you can maximize the number of buy now and buy with coupon clicks on your products or checkout actions and then we have the clicks right here so you can maximize the number of clicks to achieve the lowest cost per click in this case since we are interested in boosting sales i think purchases would be the most appropriate one so i'm just gonna click on this one right here next is the cpa so we have our cost per action right here so how much would it cost so you can set it up right here as you can see it's in php per conversion right here it might be usd in your case if your tiktok shop is based in the us so you can just enter the value right here if you would want to set the cpa or cost per action and then once you're all good with this one when you're satisfied with all of your settings click on continue right here so now we will now be making the actual ad itself. So from here, we need to provide a name. In my case, I'll just name it sales ad. And then after that, you want to go for the product details so you can add products from your TikTok shop. So you can click on the add button and this is where you can select your products. In my case, I don't have any because this is just a tutorial shop that I have made for this video. So I don't have any product yet because it uh, would take some time to get approved. But yeah, this is where you can select the product and just select it and then click on add here at the bottom right. And then once you have added your product, you can now proceed to the ad creative. And in here, you can choose affiliate post once you have added one product and then uh, you have an affiliate. So you can just click here and affiliate post. And then after that, you can also go for TikTok post if you would want to post a video as your ad that you have already posted in your TikTok. So maybe that video was working well. So you want to make an ad of it. So you can just uh, do it here in your TikTok post. And when you click on that, you would be seeing all of the posts that you have made on your TikTok account. And then you can go for video right here if you would want to upload it from your computer. In my case, this is what I want to do. So all I have to do is click here and upload and then I can just drag it here. So here's my video. I'll now be dropping it right here and now it will now be uploaded as you can see ready to upload. Click on upload right here and you should now be seeing it here on the preview on the right side and here it is. And then you have this option right here, only show as ad if you would want to. So if you check this box, your selected video will only appear as an ad. It won't be recommended or publicly displayed on the TikTok account's profile and it won't be searchable. In my case, I don't want to uh, tick this because I want it to be searchable. 
and this setting can be changed on the post and the TikTok app. So if you uh, change your mind, then you can just go for it on the settings on your post later on. And then next is the text right here. So this text is very important. This is where you would be putting your promotion. So make sure that you read and understand the notice right here that it says, try not to use exaggerated terms like the best, the most, or number one, unless you can upload proof of claims about your product to avoid this approval. So yeah, I suggest that you just avoid that because you would have a high chance of being rejected for pushing these ads. And then next is a TikTok account right here. So now you can connect your TikTok account. So just click on this one right here. And then you will now be prompted on this page where you can connect your TikTok account right here. So all you have to do is click here on continue and boom, it's now connected just as easy as that and it will now be detected right here. I almost forgot a promotion. So from here, I'm just gonna go buy one, take one just for an example. And then as you can see it right here on the right side, you can see the promotion um, being put right here. So now once you're all good with this, click on publish to run the ads. Once you have published your video, you should now be seeing it here on the campaign tab. You just simply want to click here on campaign. And once you do, you can click here on the campaign tab again. And this is where you can see all of the campaign you have created, ad group that you have created, and the ads that you have created right here. And this is also where you'd be spending most of your time because this is where you'll be monitoring all of your campaigns ad groups and ads and see how well they are doing. So if you want to create more, for example, ads, you can just click here on the create. Same goes for ad groups and campaigns right here. So yeah, that is basically it on how you can boost your sales for your TikTok shop using TikTok ads. All that's left is to test and experiment, see what kind of strategies and settings you should use. So that is basically it for this video. Thank you for watching.